right, the final assignment in this unit is from Lesson 74. It is a magazine article and it is therefore a report formatted in columns. This one is especially important for the experience that you will have with columns and balancing columns on the second page, with hyphenation, and with using justified alignment. So this is a big project. Let's get started, but don't get in too much of a hurry because you should review 74E in your textbook or in the software and the Word Processing Manual Lesson 74F on Columns and Hyphenation. When you have finished with that, you'll be ready to begin Report 7451. So start work. We're going to have to scroll on our checklist instructions this time because there are quite a few clarifications here that can help you construct this document correctly. All right, the first step this time is not going to be to press enter five times, but it's going to be to turn hyphenation on. This was something that you should have learned in Lesson 74 of the Word Processing Manual. Move to Page Layout tab and on the ribbon in the Page Setup group, click Hyphenation and then Automatic. Okay, you can move back to the Home tab and press Enter five times. One, two, three, four, five. Now be sure that you haven't changed to the 14 point font size too soon or you'll have too much space here. But at this point, we're going to center this line, turn on bold, turn on caps lock, and type interview techniques. At the end of this line, return to size 12 for your font size and press enter twice. You're going to type the author's name at this point, the byline. You're going to press enter two times and change to left alignment. Also, turn off bold. Now you will type the article single spaced inserting one blank line before and after all side headings. The side headings should be in all caps and bold and keyed at the left margin. All paragraphs are blocked, not indented, and there should be a blank line between paragraphs. It should look like this. It's going to flow onto two pages. Notice with show hide on, you can tell exactly where the blank lines belong. Every time I pressed enter, like after a side heading, you see that paragraph mark. Okay, now we're going to select the body of the report and change to justified alignment. All right, we're going to select the body of the report, not the title or the byline, just the body, change to justified alignment. Okay, you won't notice a big change, but that is stretching the lines in each paragraph from margin to margin. All right, at this point, we are going to insert our header since we have two pages in this article. A multi-page document always needs a page number. And we're going to follow the instructions in the checklist to insert a header, it's going to be suppressed on the first page. It's going to include the author's last name, a space, and the page number aligned at the right. This time, move to Insert tab, click Header, choose the first blank option, then press Tab twice to move to the right margin. At this point, you're going to type Dolan and space once. After that space, we're going to click Insert Page Number in the current position and choose Plain Number. Now at this point, move up to the ribbon and click Different First Page. Scroll down to be sure that it's showing up as Dolan 2 on the second page. Then you can close the header and footer. Okay, the next step is to carefully select the text beginning just before the first character in the first paragraph through the last typed character of the document excluding the paragraph formatting following the last character. It means you're going to click right here before that paragraph mark by holding shift, 
you have selected the whole thing and if it looks like this we're going to format the body into two columns see the word manual lesson 74 to be sure that you're doing this correctly now I'm going to move to page layout choose columns and two now the instructions tell you that if any heading appears as a one-liner at the bottom of the first page keep it with the text on the next page or column by inserting a column break however it happens that that is not necessary unless you forget to use justified alignment or hyphenation in that case you're going to have some headings at the bottom of page one but don't fix them by inserting a column break fix them by turning on hyphenation and justified alignment. Okay, now when I pasted in my document, I must have retained some formatting so the columns were already balanced. But this is more than likely what your document will look like if you follow the instructions and you have this text on page two that is not balanced into two columns. So let's scroll up and check the instructions on the checklist. You're going to balance the columns, if necessary, on page two. If it looks like this, it is necessary. Now this is explained, covered in the Word Manual, Lesson 74. But to balance the columns, so that the left and right columns both end at approximately the same place vertically on the page, you're going to click next to the last word in your document, right there before the format mark. Then you're going to click Page Layout, and under breaks click continuous now watch the magic there you go the columns are now balanced now the next step is an explanation for why some of you are going to get a green paragraph mark error in GDP at the very end of your document when you use justified alignment there is an exception to the rule of avoiding keystrokes at the end of the document what you need to do on the last paragraph to avoid any large gaps that appear between the words in the last line is to insert your insertion point right after the period and press enter. Notice there is a change there but it's not a very big one because we didn't have large gaps there are too many words in that line however there is a difference and this will save you from getting errors at the end of your document okay that was not so bad if you scroll up take a last look at your document consider fixing any errors that you see that are obvious and then save and submit it for scoring in GDP <laughs>